Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know I look absolutely fabulous right now. <laughs> but today I'm going to be filming a video that a lot of you had requested this past week because if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that I was at the happiest place on earth this past week. We took a family vacation to Disney World and while over there, I got a lot of questions about how am I doing my makeup when I was over there every day at the parks, you know. If you've ever done a trip like that or if you've ever been to Disney World, any amusement park really, it's hot, it was, it's in Florida, so it's really hot. Um, luckily, it wasn't raining at all when we were there. Um, and then you're outside, you're walking, you can get really sweaty. So it's kind of those places, it's one of those places where it's not ideal to wear makeup or at least a lot of makeup. Um, but of course, like I wanted to look cute and have fun because I wanted to take some pics while there. And I feel like over the years with my combination of living in Texas, South Texas, mind you, where it's hot pretty much all the time and then having oily skin, I've come up with a pretty good process of figuring out how to do my makeup to make sure that it lasts long. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to show you like full sun, heat, sweat proof makeup routine in case you are going to be doing any outdoor activities this summer, maybe you're taking a vacation, whatever it may be. So this is just kind of the routine that I found that works best for me. Keep in mind, I do have an oily skin type, but I'll throw in maybe some tips in this video in case you are on the drier side, but just keep that in mind that I am very oily. So let's get into it. By the way, don't make fun of my little towel turban thing. I just got out of the shower, my hair is wet, and you know, I just need it out of my face, but whatever. You know, this is the glow up process. It'll look better in a minute. So first things first, I already have my skincare on. I really don't change anything when it comes to my skincare. I'm on the proactive system. I've been on it for years, and then I use a, um, a retinoid cream from Ole Henriksen, so I just slap that on as well, and then I have lip balm on. The eye cream I'm currently using, it's very heavy, so I've noticed that it does make my mascara run a bit, so I'm only using it at night. I need to find a daytime friendly eye cream, so if you have any suggestions, help me out. So we're gonna go in with primer. The primer that I used while on this trip and that I've discovered is like super good if you're gonna be outside and sweating is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop primer. It is, whew, like this won't let you get oily at all for a good while. It keeps your makeup on like If you are on the oilier side, I would suggest this one. I mean, if you're on the drier side, I would suggest the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition Primer. It does keep you matte, but it's not as intense as this one. So maybe give this one a try. I don't know if you guys can see, but the consistency is like super thick. So a little goes a long way because it just does. So I'm just really pressing this onto my T-zone area. I will say though, like if you are using skincare beforehand, you're gonna really wanna make sure that you are pressing it in because as it starts to dry and set, it might mix kind of funny with any products that you have on underneath. And it'll start to do like that clumping thing that sometimes, um, I don't know, it's happened to me a few times with certain primers. So I really just make sure I'm pressing it in. And honestly, I'm only doing this on my T-zone because like all of this area, I really don't worry too much. My T-zone is just what gets wrecked first, you know? Now for foundation, I took a couple of foundations with me because I was self-tan and obviously the color is gonna be like changing as time goes on. I'm pretty fair again right now. I still have like a little bit of self tan or like leftover in some spots. So I'm gonna be taking a mixture of these two, which is basically what I was using. And um, it's the Huda Beauty foundation. I'm in the shade Custard, but it's a little too warm now for me. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. And this one is in the shade Nude. So I'm gonna be taking equal parts of both and I'm just gonna see how it works. And I applied it with a sponge every day because it was just the fastest way to get my makeup on. Both of these foundations are really full coverage, so a little goes a long way. You also don't want to like pile on too much product during a situation like this because 
it will start to look really cakey. Choosing a foundation for an occasion like this, you definitely want to make sure you're choosing something that's long wearing and full coverage and of course suitable for your skin type. Again, if you're on the drier side, you might want to look for something that's a little bit more friendly for drier skin types. For me, both of these foundations are really matte, so they just really work well for me. The Huda Beauty is not as intensely matte as the Can't Stop Won't Stop, so maybe just that on its own would be good. And the concealer that I highly recommend for long wear full coverage is the Tarte Shape Tape. There has yet to be something that really tops this. Um, I've talked about the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. That one is really good too, but for me the tried and true here is this guy. So now that that is blended out, we're gonna set, and then the powder that I used the whole time on the trip is the Pretty Vulgar Translucent Setting Powder. So it's this guy that comes in this container. The lid is filled with powder, so I don't wanna like flip it over. But basically this is what I used to set my T-zone the entire trip, and it worked really, really well. This is a really, really good powder, in case you haven't tried it. And it's going in with a tapered brush. Definitely load on that powder. So I definitely want to make sure that I'm semi-baking my T-zone, especially my nose area. One of the number one questions that I got was how do you keep your nose makeup from breaking when you're wearing sunglasses, which I'm sure if you guys have ever worn makeup and sunglasses, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And to be honest, I don't have any secret to crack that. I suffer from that problem as well. So. I mean, don't think that my makeup stayed perfect when I was wearing my sunglasses. But I'll tell you what to make sure you pack with you to touch that up because it's going to happen. If you're wearing sunglasses, that part where the nose rest is, it's going to break. I don't have any secret. If someone out there has a solution, I have some ideas in mind that might be able, but you know, I don't want to say because who knows, I might want to shark tank that later. So I loaded up all that setting powder right here on the center of my face and due to you know being outside and being oily and everything, I am gonna powder the rest of my face. Normally, like on a regular day, because these foundations are super matte, I wouldn't really set the rest of my face because the foundation settles really, really matte already. But for the trip, I was setting the rest of my face just to make sure I have that little extra power and strength to keep my makeup set. So I'm gonna be setting with the Bare Minerals um, Bare Pro Foundation Powder. This is in the shade two, which is Dawn. And just on a regular powder brush, I'm gonna be just kind of pressing this and buffing it into the rest of my Next, we're gonna go into bronzer, and with bronzer, I made sure to keep my bronzer a matte bronzer because of the fact that if my oils, well, since I know my oils were gonna start coming through eventually at some point, I didn't want any extra shimmer to really add to that, so I decided to pack my Huda, my Huda, my Hula bronzer from Benefit, which you guys know is a bronzer I've used for a really long time, and Taking this with a Luxie fan brush, I'm just gonna be applying this to the perimeter of my face. Just taking this bronzer along the apples of my cheek, going up towards the very top of my cheekbone here. And then I'm just gonna dust a little bit like down my neck. And I'm gonna be taking, is this brush okay? Yeah. I'm gonna be taking my Morphe R8 brush, which is just my favorite contouring brush for my nose and my Kat Von D palette. I'm taking the lightest shade in that palette, just picking up some product on the very edge of my brush on one side only, tapping off any excess, and just contouring as normal. I'm gonna kinda give myself a little bit more of a rounder nose appearance, just at the tip here. I'm gonna be cutting it off and then just emphasizing the bottom part. And then what I would do just to enhance my contour my cheekbone a little bit, I would take that same brush and then pick up product all on the very tip of the brush and just kind of push up towards the back part of my jaw here. 
or my cheekbone I should say. Then I'm going to go straight into highlighting and this is a really good highlighting palette. If you guys haven't tried them, these are really like bomb highlighters. Um, this is from the CoverGirl Full Spectrum palette. They have, I think, multiple shades of these highlighters. The, these two shades are like fire. So these are the ones that I used while away. I'm going to be taking that first one and just highlighting my cupid's bow, then highlighting my cheek bone here that's really close to my eye is doing this number here with the apple of my cheek. Just kind of getting that little, you know, when you smile and if you have nice full cheeks like me, it's really emphasized like felt, you know, kind of like that little glow that happens in photos. And then of course highlighting just the bridge of my nose. Just want that little glow there. Same rule that I used for the bronzer, I used for the blush. I made sure to use only matte blushes while I was away. So I packed a couple different shades. One of the shades I packed was this one from Kylie. This is her virginity blush. So using this brush from Morphe, this is the M402. I'm just kind of sweeping it across my cheekbones here. So this is like the face makeup only. I didn't do any cream contour because mainly because of time. So moving straight on to the eyebrows. So I made sure to use the Anastasia Dip Brow because to me that is like the most foolproof brow product. Any pomade really is going to be like your go-to with this because most pomades dry down so matte and they set so well and they really don't budge. I mean you can sweat and your pomade won't move. So I'm basically going to just start from the baseline like how I normally do. So now I'm just cleaning up my brow with my Morphe, with my MAC. Oh my God, what's this? I'm having a brain fart. 265? No, 252. 252 brush. It's been a minute since I filmed, can you tell? And with the same uh, tape shape that I use for under my eyes and center of my face, I'm just gonna be carving out the baseline and just priming my lid on it, which is very light. I'm just gonna pat that over and lightly set that because we are gonna do a little bit of shadow, nothing crazy, but just enough to give us a little bit of color in the eyes. And to set the brows, to make sure that they don't move anywhere, I'm taking my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is one of my favorite gels to use. It's just a clear gel and it really works like glue. For the eyeshadow, again, I kept super minimal. I don't feel like it's the time or place to do like cut creases, anything that's going to be like super time consuming. I really just like wanted a wash of color on my eye, just something pretty and soft, very natural. So one of the palettes that I packed with me and that's just still one of my favorite palettes is the Tarte Lit Toasted Palette. This, I'm going to be using the shade Warmth first and I'm going to be taking this with just a nice big fluffy blending brush. This one is the Morphe M504. So picking up that shade Warmth and tapping off the excess. I'm gonna start from the outer part of my eye and just really buffing this in. So this shade is very orange, it's very vibrant. It's more on the vibrant side anyway, so I wanted to just like tone it down a bit. So what I did was I also mixed a little bit of Simmer from the same palette on the same brush and I'm just literally gonna go over that or towards um, the bottom part of my lid closer to my lashes, really. And then just going in with a clean brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of, and then just going in with a clean brush, I'm gonna go in with cashmere, and just go right at the top here to blend that out even more. And then for the bottom part of my eye, I am just gonna be taking a pencil brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Cozy, which is a very deep color in this palette, one of the deeper colors, but I'm only gonna be applying this on the outer third of my bottom lash line and then overlapping that with simmer and then obviously you guys can tell i have um, lash extensions on so i did not pack any falsies these i just used my lash extensions which are bomb af 
Um, shout out to Eliza from Maine on Maine. If you guys are here in the RGV area and you're looking to get your eyelashes done, I highly, 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 highly recommend her. Um, this is my, I went in for a full set and then this is my refill that she did for me right before I left. And, um, I mean, the, I just love my lashes like a lot. So like I said, if you want to go get your lashes done, I highly recommend checking her out. She does a phenomenal job. So I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplifier Primer. Um, it's not like my favorite, but it's just the one that I have right now. I've been really wanting to try the Too Faced one. I mean, not Too Faced, the, um, just because the packaging looks the same. I've been really wanting to try the L'Oreal one, but I'm going to wait till I finish this one. So this lash primer, it's kind of like a white type of coating. So it kind of thickens and lengthens before you apply your mascara. And the mascara that I'm using is the Too Faced Better Than Sex because it's just one of my favorites. And I'm moving on to the lips. So for the lips, I am using the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner first just to give a little bit of contour to my lip line. And I'm gonna be taking a mix. I'm gonna do a little bit of gloss and liquid lipstick. I kind of bounced back and forth while on the trip. So this shade is the NYX Lip Lingerie in LOL but I'm gonna go in with the I Love Sarai and ColourPop Gloss Ultra Glossy Lip in Curvy and apply that in the center and kind of mute out the color. So basically face makeup is done. The last thing, well everything's done. I just need to spray and set with my all time favorite, my Urban Decay All Nighter. This one is that summer edition where it kind of smells like coconut or something. I really can't smell it too much, but this is my tried and true setting spray. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out this hair situation really quick and then I'll be right back. All right guys, here is the completed look. Slapped on my wig because wasn't about to do my hair. But anyway, so this look should be weatherproof, sweat proof, oil proof, whatever proof, but it is definitely a makeup application and the products that we use that will make sure it lasts a lot longer. Now, just some tips. I don't want to give the illusion that I just slapped on this makeup, headed out to the parks all day, and like did not touch my face at once, but because that's like not the case. I definitely always, always pack things in my purse or whatever I'm carrying around for the day to just touch up a little bit, but this Makeup is supposed to help avoid having to pack all of your makeup, you know, because there is no point in like redoing your whole face at a park. You want to enjoy yourself and there are times for touch-ups, but what you're going to need to take with you to make sure that you do stay looking pretty fresh and beat throughout the whole day um, is definitely blotting papers. I always make sure I pack blotting papers in my purse because like I said, I'm very oily, so it just helps me control the oil when it's time to touch up. I have used the Mary Kay blotting papers forever now and they're just one of my favorites. Um, I like that the pack comes with a good amount in there. So blotting papers for sure. Concealer, I would just pack your concealer with you. That is what I use to touch up my nose area and press powder to help set it and to powder any areas like that may need a little powdering, especially like my nose and your lipstick. Those things, that's all you need to touch up and you will be a one. I am talking like this makeup lasted me so well. And of course, you just want to avoid like having to be touching your face a lot. So if you can, don't be like wiping off your sweat like this. Don't be like, you know, don't be so aggressive with your face. That's just a general rule of thumb on the day to day. I give that tip to everyone. You know, you'd be surprised how often we want to touch our faces. And when you break that habit, you'll notice that your face, like your makeup just lasts so much longer. So I hope this video is helpful. I hope that maybe it helps any of you guys that are going on vacation this summer or just trying to survive these hot summer days. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to set, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at the links below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.